This is the Sauvignon Blanc. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna start. Come on, back first. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, this wine is the rosé. A rosé is a very unique wine. Most people think it's a blend, but it's not a blend. When we make, we make rosé with a Merlot and Cabernet Francs mm. uh, type of grapes. Mm. It's a red grape, but we do it in the process of white wine yeah. making, okay? Mm. It means it does cold fermentation in the metal tanks yeah. with oaks, okay? Yeah. Cold fermentation, and then we uh, put inside the shells of the grapes. Mm. For a couple of hours, it gives taste and color to the, the beautiful pink mm -hmm. color yeah. of, the, mm -hmm. of the rosé. And then we take the shells out, out mm -hmm. and we bottle it. There's no process like red wine of the wooden barrels. Okay, there's no, no process of the aging. This is a white wine, you need to drink it young. And that's it. It's not supposed to age. Okay, but it's a very, very refreshing wine. It has tasted uh, like um, red fruits, like strawberry and peach. This is a good wine for today. <laughs> Uh, we've been uh, here already more than 140 years as a, as a grape grower, a vineyard, in vineyards. But we opened the winery 21 years ago after Professor Odette Chuseo, who is a, one of our colleagues here, one of our partners, uh, he did his PhD. All this area here, 240 dunas, belong to the Chusseil family. They are very, they're, we are all, they're already third generation here in the area. Oded, the son of Chusseil, did his PhD at the laboratory of my father at the Faculty of Agriculture, the Hebrew University. He did his PhD on the biochemistry of aroma of wine. And he uh, graduated with honors. Then we came up with the idea why not open our own winery, implementing the findings from this PhD in the wines that we make. We have grapes, we have know-how, we have Professor Bravo, which was very, today is, is, is quite, is already 89 years old, but very clever and very uh, much involved, but then, in 21 years ago, it was his, uh, well, he was in his peak. He was the Israeli representative at the OEV, the International Organization of Mine in Paris. He was um, a visiting professor in all kinds of universities, do, uh, uh, involving winemaking and uh, vineyard growing, uh. gave advice, uh, very very uh, a good reputation all over the world, not only in Israel. So we opened the winery in 2001. Uh. We started off with 2,400 bottles. Today we make close to 100,000 bottles. Wow. Wow. We export uh, 2,500,000 bottles to uh, mainly to the US. Uh. Uh, we make our wines only from the vineyards that we grow here. Uh. We believe that good wine is yeah. an outcome of excellent agriculture. Mm. Since we are the growers, and by the way, before we opened the winery, the, the Chasseau family used to sell the grapes to other wineries in yeah. Israel. Mm. Yeah. Once we started, though, we opened the winery, we started taking more grapes to mm -hmm. our yeah. uh, winery. Mm -hmm. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on agriculture. We yeah. know how much it is important. Mm. We prune during the winter. We don't want the vine to overproduce itself. Yeah. Now it's the season that we start taking off the leaves so that yeah. they don't hide one another from the sun rays for yeah. the photosynthesis. Yeah. Uh, we are going to start harvest probably beginning of July, Ooh. starting with the white wines, yeah. mm. going on to the red wines, the red mm. grapes. Mm. The white wines, the, the Sauvignon Blanc, which you've tasted, mm -hmm. has not gone through fermentation at all, as I mentioned before. You see the stainless steel containers yeah, yes. here? This yes. is where the juice, the must, goes, mm. in, uh, goes through fermentation. All the sugar turns into alcohol. Mm. Yeah. Once, if we had, had we stopped fermentation in the middle, it would be semi-dry. Yeah. Mm. And it would be sweet, but we don't make uh, semi-dry wines. We make yeah. only dry, dry. wines. The red wines, which you're going to taste soon, are wines which have gone through the barrels for at least 12 months. 
Our barrels are imported from France. Yes. We have here 75% French oak mm. and 25% American oak. Mm. The barrels stay here at the, wine, at the winery for four seasons. After the fourth season, yeah. we use them for the tables or for our own needs. But uh, after four years, the wood is already absorbed from the mine. The mine has hardly any impact on the which is one year old or only in a barrel which is three years old. It ages in all the barrels. We put it to be the Cabernet Sauvignon in a, 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 a quarter of the quantity in a new barrel, a quarter in a two year old barrel, a quarter in three, a quarter in four, and then we mix it together so that the wine in the bottle mm. has gone through several ages. Had it gone through only a new barrel, it would be, the impact would be very, very strong. And we want to pay attention to that. We, mm. want, the, we want balance between wood and fruit. Yeah. Very good Chardonnay. There is a wine competition which is called Chardonnay du Monde. We send it and every time it comes back with a medal. Half an hour. Uh, yeah.